welcome back to my channel. So this week we're gonna make a really easy project because I have been through it, okay? I'm trying to buy a house and it is so stressful. Anyway, that's a whole different thing. Today I want to get to a project that I've had on my list for a very long time and if you saw my planning video you will already know what this is but I want to make a pillow for my very best friend Alicia. Uh, she runs a paper flower business called Forever in Flower, which I will 100% link down below because it's amazing. This is not sponsored or anything, but I'm a little chuffed because her great efforts have made this wonderful small business. She started out making the flowers for my wedding, which I've still got a boutonniere here that she made. And these are just adorable. They're lovely because I have a whole bouquet hanging up in my house um, of this kind of arrangement and it looked wonderful on the day. This is five years ago and they still look absolutely wonderful. The craftsmanship is amazing and you should definitely check it out because I think I have an addiction. Like I have this one for my wedding. I've got this set that I think she made me for a birthday or something like that. I can't remember, but I've had this one also pretty long and it's been a little bit abused in my sewing room because I had it sitting behind my sewing scissors and they would like lean on it. Also, adorable, lovely, lovely flowers. I wouldn't know the names of them for the life of me. Like, there's a website and pictures for that reason. Yeah, she just puts so much detail in, I don't understand. She's always been extremely crafty, but this is like next level. Then I also have, uh, I got these, this peony for photos and props. And I haven't used it for photos and props, but it sure looks good in my living room. It's lovely, and there's so much detail. Like, look how pretty that is. Eee, it's beautiful. I also, my husband bought a bouquet because he knows how much I love her flowers. He bought me a bouquet for my birthday earlier this year. And there's a little bee with it. Look how cute the little bee is. Jingle jangles. Ooh, that's so cute. She hand paints half of the paper as well. All the paper, I don't even know. She does a lot of it by hand. I especially love these little purple, uh, kind of mini orchid looking ones. And then my absolute favorite, the winner of all her flowers, in my opinion, at the moment, because I change frequently, is her hydrangeas. Now she has these like dual tone hydrangeas. I promise this is not an ad for, they're just, they're just beautiful. But she has some two tone ones, some ombre ones that, that go from pink to like a dark purple, but how beautiful is that? I mean, look at that. That's paper. That's handmade by my best friend. It's amazing. Anyway, all that to say that today we're gonna make her a pillow. I picked up this piece of fabric from the sewing lair, which I just think is so appropriate considering her business. And she can have it in her studio and it's gonna look gorgeous. And anyway, this piece of fabric was like a fabric sample at the sewing lair. It was in like a quilting packet and I really like the colorways. I went and picked up a pillow from Lifeline for $3. And this is gonna be the pillow that goes on the inside. So what we're gonna do today is make the back for this piece of fabric and just make a pillowcase and a pillow for Alicia and it's gonna match so well, and I'm so proud of her for everything that she does. Yeah, check out her link down below if you're interested, and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just measure this piece and kind of find where I can center the image, because there's obviously gonna be seam allowance, and I think it's a little bit longer than it needs to be. And for the back, I'm going to use this pillow, uh, this fabric that I used to make my bag. It doesn't totally match, but I think it'd be nice for like, you know, she can either have it with this design on the front or with the red and like switch it up. So it's kind of like two pillows in one, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm gonna cut a piece of this the same size as this backing piece. And then we'll see how we go from there. Okay, I'm just mocking out a paper version because I don't want to cut into my fabric without knowing. Okay, so I probably want like a like a five centimeter overlap. So what I'll do is measure to the middle of the front piece and then out by two centi 2.5 centimeters. And then that's this bit is the size that I'm gonna make 
the other piece plus 1.5 centimeters of seam allowance and then make two pieces like this so that they overlap in the middle oh should I do three cent yeah plus three centimeters so I can fold it over twice yeah three centimeters yeah let's say six centimeters from the middle so I'll measure to the middle of the red square measure six centimeters out and then do that twice yeah and that should give you enough overlap that the pillow stays closed don't mind this I hurt myself climbing uh, that the pillow stays closed when it's in there but you can still like open it enough to get it in that's the hope um, okay I'm gonna go away and cut those and I'll be back okay so the first thing I'm actually gonna do is square the pillow front so that I can see what I'm working with so it's 49 centimeters this way and I want to make it 49 centimeters this way as well so I'm gonna measure 24 and a half I cut out the pieces with that extra six centimeters and now I'm just gonna sew down the first seam, roll it over and sew up the second seam. iron around the edge to make these fabrics sit nicely flush and then see if the pillow fits. Mm -hmm. 